Hey guys, welcome. So if you're new, welcome to this video. I'm Malka Lux. I like to do a weekly dose of all things Lux. And I am doing right now a collection of videos on my jewelry collection. So I covered some other designers earlier. We went through Dior, we went through Chanel. I don't have huge collections, but I really feel like to show people what I have in my collection, the pieces that I've picked are specifically curated because I believe they have value, quality, and wearability. So this collection I'm gonna be talking about today is Mickey Moto. Mickey Moto is a, this is a fine jewelry. These are a, a company that has, primarily is known for its cultured pearls. It was one of the earliest companies, in fact. The, um, I believe the founder, Mickey Moto, came up with the way to culture a pearl. Whereas before, finding pearls naturally was a very difficult, time-consuming process and also did not ensure the pearls were uniform in size and in their luster and some of the other attributes for the pearls. I am not an expert in pearls. Pearls are my birthstone. I do love wearing them. And so I wanted to talk briefly about my collection here, and I only have a few pieces, but I do believe it is definitely worthwhile if you're going to make the investment and buy pearls, especially today. I would recommend if you're looking for something, again, to pass on to the next generation, buying something that is from Mikimoto is probably the best way to go. Mikimoto really has that standard. I know there are tons of other companies putting out everything from freshwater pearls to cultured pearls that don't have the label Mikimoto. They don't hold their value. Like anything, if you buy, for instance, a Rolex watch, it's going to hold its value better than a Timex. Now, are they both watches? Absolutely. Will they tell time? Of course. And can they be of a similar quality? No. You're going to get a better quality watch with a Rolex. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't buy a Timex. But what I'm saying is if you're going to invest in pearls, the Mikimoto Pearl is the way to go. Because regular pearls, unfortunately, really don't hold their value. And Mikimoto stands by their quality and their pearls are of the utmost quality. So let's open up the box. So this box is for my necklace. And I keep in here, not only my necklace, but the matching bracelet and earrings. I just keep the collection together. Um, you can see the packaging is really beautiful. It's got this leather um, packaging, similar, I guess, to um, pieces that I've seen from like Chanel, where they have special, it's not leather in Chanel, I think it's velvet, but it, it opens up, it's basically four plate pieces here. These little, um, uh, ties have the M from Mickey Moto. It has there his logo. And I'm going to open this up carefully. And I'm going to remove just to show you all the pieces here. We'll take each one out and talk about it. But what I have here is a necklace with the matching bracelet and earrings. What I want to point out though is that these pieces were not purchased together. I actually purchased them separately and I got some of them on the pre-owned market and some I bought brand new. Um, I was able to take these in and get a certificate for the necklace because I didn't purchase it brand new, but I did want to make sure obviously that it was authentic and that I knew what the grading was for the pearls. So these pearls are basically overall white and they do have like a pink overtone. Uh, the clasp is white gold. And for the necklace, these are eight to eight and a half millimeters in size. So these are on the slightly larger size. You'll notice the bracelet here is slightly smaller. Okay, it is about seven millimeters. Okay, I don't know if you can see the difference here when I hold them up. And then the earrings, which have fallen down, okay. The earrings match the size of the bracelet. They are about seven millimeters in size. Now, the quality of these are different. So when I look at the 
necklace, the necklace is an A quality, and then it goes up from there. So he has, I think it's A, A plus, all the way up to like four A's. And it's just basically showing you the, the luster and the, um, the luminescence of this pearl. So my earrings, these were the smallest purchase that I had. And these earrings, I don't know if you're gonna see that, if I can pick it up on the camera. These are the highest quality in terms of the pearl. And I did buy these new. I believe these were, I, I got them at Nordstrom, and I wanna say that these were about, mm, somewhere in the neighborhood of about four or $500. But those are the earrings. And they're with a white gold, 18 karat white gold post. The bracelet, and here is, like I said, it has the 18 karat white gold clasp, which matches that on the necklace. The bracelet I ended up finding on the Real Real. Uh, you'll notice it has a little dangling M. Again, the not all Mickey Moto pieces, I think some vintage do not have that M, but the ones that are more recent do. Um, this piece is, I never got this um, evaluated. I think the certificate on the Real Real said that these were like double A quality pearls, but um, they are individually knotted like all, most pearl uh, bracelets and necklaces are, and they are really nice quality. Um, really love it. This I was really fortunate. I think I only, I spent about 350 on the Real Real for this bracelet and I know that this bracelet goes for even on the pre-owned market anywhere from 700 to 800 plus um, depending on the quality. Now what I want to also point out and you can see on the back of the clasp is the Mickey Moto shell stamp and that's just another symbol to make sure that you're getting an authentic piece. Um, you know again you want to be careful when purchasing these you want to make sure that you have authentic pieces and somebody hasn't just put a Mickey Moto clasp on some pearls. Now what I did find out when I went in to uh, get my pearls appraised by Mickey Moto, I went to the Benbridge Jewelry in the Galleria Mall here in Houston and I brought in the, the necklace and I asked them to not only um, clean it and appraise it, to send it in and get me a certificate, but I was thinking I would love to have upgraded the clasp from this white gold with a pearl to something in white gold with a diamond. And what I found out was that Mickey Moto will only upgrade to a diamond clasp if the quality of the pearl, I believe, is a double A or higher. So unfortunately, my pearls were not that high. It was there. This, these pearls were actually on the lower end. I think it was like an A or A plus. They're still gorgeous and I absolutely was very happy with this. I ended up buying this um, pre-owned on eBay from a, a legitimate seller and these pearls were because of their size and I didn't want a dainty like six millimeter pearl. I wanted something a little larger. Uh, they were a little more costly. I think I ended up spending, I wanna say, I still, it was still a great deal. I think this was about $1,200 on eBay. And this was purchased probably, oh gosh, at least five years ago. Now I know from looking at Mickey Moto's website that just these pearl earrings, uh, sorry, the pearl necklace starts at around $6,000. And I think that is what I got as far as replacement value from Mickey Moto when they did their evaluation that this was at least 6,000. Now, unfortunately, like I said, pearls come in and out of fashion. When they're in fashion and people want them, they typically want to buy the Mickey Moto. A regular strand of pearls will not cost as much and not be as good an investment as far as long-term value. Like I said, I look to pass these on. When I ended up getting these, um, my daughter recently got married and she wore these at her wedding. So these of course now have sentimental value in addition to just being very beautiful. What I also love about this and the reason I encourage you guys, if you do invest in a pearl necklace, and this one, I don't think I said, this was about, this is about 18 inches 
and the bracelet here is about a seven inch bracelet. And what's really cool is that because of the clasps being the same, I can actually convert this. I can add the bracelet to the necklace. And so if I wanted to, I could wear the necklace longer. So um, I think that's a really cool option. Even though they're not the same size pearl, I still don't see that as a problem. This will be in the back of my neck and you know, you'll basically see this strand further down. So no one, I don't think would really notice it, especially I have long hair. But anyway, um, I really enjoy these pieces. They're beautiful. And these are just a suite of items that I have from Mikimoto. I hope you've learned something about Mikimoto and definitely check out their website. They're definitely worth investing. I would suggest if you want to invest to try to find them on the pre-owned market. If you're going to buy them from eBay, obviously be careful. Make sure you deal with somebody who's, you know, got a lot of feedback and is going to accept returns if something isn't authentic. Of course, eBay also stands by and if it's not authentic, you can return it. But don't take your time once you buy something to get it authenticated, especially if you're not 100% sure that it is real. In the meantime, uh, they are a lovely investment piece, a lovely luxury item. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell to be notified when I drop my next video. And also let me know, would you ever invest in pearl jewelry, fine pearl jewelry? What pieces would you invest in? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Okay guys, till next time, bye.